Ethics is part of everything we do in public health. Public health professionals will make hundreds of decisions every day, and in that decision-making comes evidence, of course, but importantly also ethics and community experience, lived experience. So we have to remember that while we're talking about decisions that we generally base on evidence, every public health decision we make, because public health is for the public, every decision we make has to consider what the public values. The APHA adopted uh, in 2019 the Public Health Code of Ethics, um, and it was the result of a four-year deliberation across the public health community, not just APHA, but all uh, many, many other partners we have uh, in public health. And that Public Health Code of Ethics is, is more than a code of conduct. It's actually an outline of our core values in public health. And then it also um, supplies a framework, and a decision-making framework that public health professionals who are on the front lines doing the important work that we do every day can, can put into that framework the facts of the matter, the data, the evidence, as well as the values and lived experience and really come out of um, that process with a decision that is well supported by the community. And it's that kind of well supported decision that makes communities engage with public health and shows that we're trustworthy, worthy of the trust they give us. We all know that right now, issues of trust in health messengers is front and center. We're all wrestling with the fact that the vaccination rates for COVID are not nearly what they should be for primary vaccination and boosters. And so studies have shown that it's really local trusted messengers that are most effective in helping build trust, improve education, and then heighten vaccination rates. And faith leaders, are a great example of that. So I've been very blessed to have a career that's involved being a doctor, a clinician, a state health commissioner, and most recently, U.S. Assistant Secretary for Health in the Obama administration. And through all those roles, I've seen very powerfully, time and again, how communities in general, and faith communities in particular, impact people's lives and their health. So communities bring out a sense of belonging and connection for people. And faith brings a sense of meaning and purpose and commitment to the sacred in people. And when you combine it all with faith communities, that combines the best of belonging and belief. So I think it's a natural collaboration that we public health leaders should pursue to make uh, our communities healthier going forward.